Not everyone is meant to make a difference. But for me, the choice to live an ordinary life is no longer an option. When a media mogul suddenly died, a $40 billion empire was at stake. If I lose control of this company, it'll be catastrophic. And all that was needed to stay in power... Did we find this heir yet? ...was a simple handshake. Longfellow deeds? Handshakes are for strangers, pal. We <laughs> hug around here, buddy. What's up? What's up? In this small town, they call him the poetic guy. I promise to love you for 50 years more, even when your bosoms sag down to the floor. <laughs> but now, he'll be called the rich guy. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. From the producers of Big Daddy. I got wicked bad frostbite when I was in the scouts. Check it out. <clears throat> the hideousness of that foot will haunt my dreams forever. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. One man is going to teach high society. He writes greeting cards. Do you write your poems with a crayon, Deeds? <laughs> Some small-town values. And if it wasn't for Miss Dawson being here, I'd probably knock your heads in. I don't mind. Okay. Oh! Adam Sandler is... This will uh, pay for uh, everything I, I damaged. Sorry about that. Good to meet you guys. Thank you. Mr. Deeds. Don't be nervous. Go ahead. Didn't feel that. Isn't that awesome? Go ahead. Enjoy the foot. I know you're starting to like it, aren't you? Ow! You're sick! You're sick! Why would you do that to me? I'm just kidding you, pal. you got three X's on your neck. That's appropriate since you're looking at three strikes. Grand Theft Auto, reckless endangerment, and that little bridge stunt of yours. But if you do what I want, I'll make all your criminal transgressions go away. You get the chance to pay back Uncle Sam for all the freedom you enjoy. Well, I like this. Vin Diesel is a new breed of secret agents. I wish I had a video camera. This is gonna be one hell of a trick. Vin Diesel is Triple X. The things I'm gonna do for my country. In the year 2002, when the out of this world gets out of control, don't bother calling the CIA. Forget the FBI, because there's only one government agency we can turn to. This package is in clear violation of Section 3.1 of the United States Postal Code. Next! Kevin. Wow. Kevin, that's funny. You just, you don't have like a Kevin. Okay, straight to the point. You are a former agent of a top secret organization that monitors extraterrestrials on Earth. Hey, you're back. Hey, somebody said you were dead. You look good. The deneuralizer. 
In a few moments, transverse magneto energy will surge through your brain, unlocking information that could hold the key to Earth's very survival. Oh, okay. What's that thing? The deneuralizer. This season, they're back in black. Men in black, too. May I have your attention, people? Please move to the forward car. We got a bug in the electrical system. Yo, people, we got a bug in the electrical system. Oh, now y'all running. Why is the Incredible Hulk green? Who put the X in the X-Men? And why the heck does Spider-Man wear those pajamas? Let's find out when me, Kevin Smith, talks to Stan Lee, the father of modern mythology, in Stan Lee's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels. Stan the Man Lee, co-creator of Spider-Man. I always felt I want to do Spider-Man. I thought it would be good. The Fantastic Four. Bunch of superheroes, but I tried to make them different than the others. The Incredible Hulk. Now I'm gonna make a hero out of a monster. The Uncanny X-Men. I wanted to call it The Mutants. Mm -hmm. Went to my publisher, he said, you cannot call it The Mutants, nobody knows what a mutant is. And many more. It was almost like there was something in the air at that time. It was like we could do nothing wrong. All of them became popular, and all of them seemed to have lasted. Filmmaker Kevin Smith takes us on an intimate journey into the imagination of the father of our modern mythology. The Marvel characters have always been very scientifically bent, very science fiction oriented. Where did that come from? I love science fiction, but nobody knows less about science than I do. And all I did, because I'm lazy, I took the easy way out. I figured, well, the guy has to become the Hulk in some way. I'll let him be hit by a gamma bomb. Now, I wouldn't know a gamma ray from an eggplant, but it sounded good, a gamma bomb and discover the inspiration. And there's that really beautiful moment, too, where uh, Captain Stacy kind of knows that Spider-Man is Peter Parker right, right. and says, take care of Gwen. That's right. Because he's dying. But I mean, that's she never powerful that. stuff, and she doesn't hear that. But that's powerful stuff, and that's well, later, not stuff necessarily written for a kid. You well, know, that's I, I stuff I never that wrote for kids. I wrote for me. To uncover the secret origins. Joni said to me, if you're going to quit anyway, why don't you do a book the way you'd like to do it and get it out of your system? Mm -hmm. The worst that'll happen, he'll fire you and you want to quit. Right. So I figured, okay, and I did that one book, uh, The Fantastic Four. Today, Hollywood is producing several blockbuster motion pictures, faithfully based on Stan Lee's world-famous superheroes. Marvel stuff being very science fiction oriented, perfect movies on the page, you know, no brainers. And for a while, Marvel couldn't make that happen. And then with Brian Singer's X-Men, kind of punched through in a big, big, big way. And for years, Spider-Man was held up in legal limbo. Um, and finally, this year, we're, we're gonna see the Spider-Man movie, which some would say is about 20 years in the making. I don't think there's ever been a time when the, the product of one company is gonna be represented so much in movies. It's a great time to be a Marvel fan if you're in the movies oh, as well. Oh man, yeah. Presented on two complete features, Creating Spider-Man, and Here Come the Heroes. Stan Lee's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels is a must for all fans of comic books and fantasy adventure. Exocior! <laughs>
He saved my life twice. Wow. And I've never even seen his face. When you look in her eyes, you know what kind of man you want to be. Watch out! You feel stronger, weaker at the same time. Do I get to say thank you this time? Ready PG-13. Somebody has to stop it. On May 3rd, with great power comes great responsibility. The entire world will be united. I will always be there for you by a single thread of hope. Spider-Man, rated PG-13. I would do exactly the same thing at your age on May 3rd. Not a 
exactly. You're invited to suit up. With great power comes great responsibility. And swing into action. I wanna take you on a roller coaster. Awesome! Spider-Man. You do too much. You're not Superman. Ready PG-13. Down. I will always be there for you. Spider Man. Ready PG 13. You're changing. I went through exactly the same thing at your age on May 3rd. <laughs> Not exactly. Suit up. With great power comes great responsibility. For the ultimate spin. I wanna take you on a roller coaster. Awesome! Spider Man. You do too much. You're not Superman. Ready PG 13. Not everyone is meant to make a difference, but for me, the choice to live an ordinary life is no longer an option. Tomorrow, hang on for the ultimate spin. Rated PG-13 opens tomorrow. I went through exactly the same thing at your age. Not exactly. Somebody has to stop it. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Rated PG-13. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Critics are calling Spider-Man absolutely amazing, unforgettable, wonders to behold. Four stars, thumbs up. Pure spun gold. Spider-Man is an action-packed blast. It's incredible. You have to see this movie to believe it. Spider-Man, rated PG-13. Now playing in theaters everywhere.
who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If somebody said it was a happy little tale, if somebody told you I was just your average ordinary guy not a care in the world, somebody lied.